what is going on welcome to a new series called stupid nutrition shit that i've heard part one today is something i've heard about for years i never heard of a good name for it so it's always this really long explanation but lately the past few weeks i keep hearing people talking about it and it has a name and it's called macronutrient combining where you have the privilege of eating certain foods together and certain foods apart because that makes total sense at the end of the day. So let's go into this a little bit. So what exactly is it? It's basically saying there are certain optimal combinations of food that you are able to eat for weight loss or for strength gain, predominantly for weight loss. And one great example I heard from a client is I can only have up to 15 grams of fat at a meal that I'm eating substantial carbs and substantial protein. Or on the flip side, I can only have fat and protein at the same time no carb because fat and carbs together are like satan spawn fat and carbs together are demonized there's this horrible thing there's a huge insulin response i'm gonna gain weight and i'm not gonna like it and blah 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 i've heard this for years therefore donuts must be the worst food in the whole wide world and everyone that eats a donut must get super obese no no the premise is oh if you have high fat and high carb well the high fat's gonna slow down your digestion delay gastric emptying and then the carbs are gonna increase your blood sugar and because the fat's gonna slow your gastric emptying, the carbs won't be absorbed as quickly, and then the fat can help induce insulin resistance, so then it's gonna take in the diabetes world, more insulin for your blood sugar to come down, so you're taking a ton more insulin, and then insulin must cause fat gain, and as a result, because you have higher insulin, because you have delayed gastric emptying, because, 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 you ultimately gain weight. News flash, not true. Diabetes world number one. Insulin does not cause weight gain. Caloric surplus does. If you don't remember this, scroll back on my feed a little bit and find a video that I I did with Chris Rudin a few months ago about this exact topic. Second, from a diabetes perspective, when people are always like, oh my goodness, well, fat and carbs together is a super insulin response. If you have diabetes, you are by definition taking more insulin than the average person. You are having super physiological doses of insulin just to stay alive. So that being said, oh no, you took a little extra insulin. You're already taking more than an average person who doesn't have diabetes anyway. So what are you freaking out about? Huh. Anyway, and then if we go into it a little bit more, from a blood sugar perspective, high fat, high carb, I get caution, doesn't mean you should not eat it. Because remember, the only thing that really drives weight gain is a caloric surplus. If I tell you that I'm gonna have 2,000 calories of donuts, and my friend is gonna have 2,000 calories of a perfectly balanced vegetables, blah, 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 blah. And we do this for a month and a half, which would be really disgusting, but you get the point. We should ultimately be roughly the same amount of weight. I'm not saying our body comps are gonna be the same, but what I am saying is from a caloric standpoint, in isolation, your weight should be about the same. That's it, end of story. Because if you need 2,000 calories to maintain your weight and you eat 2,000 calories, and whether that is consisting of high fat, high carb, or high protein, high carb, or whatever combination, don't matter. It really does not matter. There's other factors that little 10% of it's gonna matter, but 90% of the equation is what the caloric intake is. So this whole thing, you can't have a mixed meal of protein, fat, and carbs. Sure you can. If no one could have a mixed meal, the entire world would have issues right now. People are eating carbs, fat, and protein all the time. That is a typical meal. That is a balanced meal. This is what the game says. They're saying carbs, fat, protein, all at the same time. Gas. Oh, I can only have fruit if I have something with it. I can't have fruit by itself. I can only have fruit with protein. I can have fruit by it. No, stop making it complicated. If you're wor that worried about fat gain or you're that worried about gaining weight, why don't you actually look at the amount of food you're eating, the total amount of caloric intake you're having, and ultimately measure that instead of measuring what you ate at what time. Because quite frankly, there's a lot more efficient uses of your time than trying to figure out, well, I can't have fruit at this time because I just had this and I can't have this at this time. No, just eat. I guarantee you, if you spend a third of the time trying to figure out which foods you can combine in accordance with the food, food combination police and you spend that time instead on actually concerning yourself with a proper balanced diet that hits your particular nutrition goals that will optimize your body composition you will have a lot less to worry about your time is better spent on that and actually enjoying the food and actually figuring out what food what ratio of macronutrients is going to be best for you and what composition how you're going to get to those goals not oh my god i had cherries at 3 p.m but i had to have a protein source but i had to have no cut the crap worry about the actual full picture not just one meal. All that I'm going to say at the end of the day, food composition matters, overall nutrition goals matter. So this other nonsense...
Bye. See ya. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Let me know what other myths you want debunked, what other things you've heard that are just crazy. You've always wondered, oh, is there any validity behind this? And just let me know what you're thinking in general. And if you need to figure out a way to actually reach your nutrition goals, reach your body composition, your weight loss goals in a healthy, sustainable way, shoot me a message.